We've had a couple different customer successes, especially in the hospital space. So uh, clients were struggling with endpoints that came from a manufacturer that manufactured in China and there were some security concerns around it, so they decided to make a, a switch from that hardware to another vendor's hardware, and they were having problems with their wireless connection, could not solve the problem. So we introduced them to iGel, we, think, we said we think this will help, so they put the iGel OS on that other vendor's thin clients, and it solved the problem immediately. They were stuck for about two months trying to get by this problem, and within a matter of a week, they were rolling out to uh, their end users the iGel solution on hardware they had already purchased. And very successful, so in fact they bought 5,200 licenses, which was a pretty good iGel sale, although not these days, I can see it's even bigger, but at the time that was a big deal for iGel to sell that many licenses to one client. So another one was a Kettering, uh, it's a hospital down in Dayton, Ohio that we've been working with for uh, a couple years in kind of a multi-phase type project, right, kind of rolling out a virtual desktop for them over, over time. They were originally looking at another vendor that couldn't support some new technology that came out. It's called Blue Giga. It allows the doctors to walk up to a device and it recognizes their iPhone Bluetooth and would allow them to sign in as a second factor in addition to them typing on the endpoint. And the other vendor didn't have this available. iGel was the only vendor at the time, and still is, the only vendor that has that technology available. So they changed from the other vendor to iGel because of that functionality and it's been very successful. CoreTech is um, like a system integrator. We don't just sell individual component products, we kind of sell total solutions, and there's a number of different products in our stack to be able to make the end user really successful. Because it's not, there's no silver bullet in IT. It's all a matter of putting the pieces together to provide a functional product that's intuitive and easy to use for the end user. So, uh, IGL has just been a, a real uh, blessing because it allows our clients to reuse current hardware that they have that still has some life left in it. So it allows us to lower their return on investment early on in the project. And as these machines start to age out over time, they can replace them. But it doesn't have to do a total rip and replace right from the beginning. So it's really beneficial for our clients to be able to do that and to sell that internally in their, in their company because they already have some infrastructure available to them that's that we can extend the life of it for them using iGel. So I've been very successful doing that. I spent most of my career on the client side. So I kind of take the client's perspective. I kind of know what it's like to live in that world and the pressures you have to deliver and cut costs and deliver better solutions over time. So iGel has really allowed us to innovate, to be able to, to do things faster, better, quicker, uh, be able to deliver a more intuitive endpoint to the end user and a more secure endpoint. So a lot of organizations really struggle with securing their endpoints and iGel allows us to do that very easily. I know that a lot of people have talked about the Win10 deployment, which is uh, Microsoft's new operating system that is causing a lot of consternation because the end of this year, beginning of next year, the current operating system go end, goes end of life. So a lot of companies are struggling with how to get ahead of that and get that deployed. Deploying a virtual desktop using iGel on the endpoint really kind of just eliminates that problem. And not only eliminates the immediate conversion problem, but it eliminates the maintenance problem that is coming with Windows 10. So even clients that we find have already gone to Windows 10 have a hard time maintaining it. And having a virtual desktop with an iGel endpoint eliminates that concern. iGel just helps us explain to end users there's a better way of doing things. Don't always think that what you did yesterday makes sense for tomorrow, right? You've got to constantly challenge yourself, how can I make this a better product? How can I make my end users more happy? And in, in the IT world, at the end of the day, it's end user happiness that really decides the difference. I often tell people the end users don't care if it's squirrels in a cage that's making this stuff work. All they want to know is that it works. And so if we can make it work easily for them, consistently for them, with no problems, you have very happy end users. And that's what our aim is to be for Cortex, to have very happy end users.